Mike here doing my first vlog in the Duramax since I put the exhaust on. At least I think this is my first. Oh my gosh, we got a Dodge trash can in the road. There we go. Look at all these trash cans. Slalom testing in a Duramax. Look at that. Oh, there's no body roll whatsoever. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, my first vlog inside of the truck since I got my exhaust installed, so hopefully it's not too crazy loud in here and everybody can hear me. Uh, but I just wanted to talk a little bit today about some questions that I've been getting on the channel as well as some comments that I've seen kind of floating around. And uh, basically people asking, why doesn't your truck roll coal? Or people saying like, you know, haha, your truck doesn't roll coal. Or just... But really the whole thing, and, and I guess a lot of people didn't know this, is that in order for your truck to roll coal like that, um, you have to have a tune that does it. In the simplest of terms, uh, essentially when your truck is rolling a bunch of coal, your truck is running rich. In other words, there's too much fuel going in, so rather than being spent, it's coming out the back. And that's all that it is, basically, when you see smoke coming out the back or a stack of a truck or whatever. And quite simply, my truck just is not tuned to do that. My truck's uh, tune is not running rich in any way. It's not going to roll coal. It never will. There's nothing I could do to my truck the way it sits right now that would make it roll coal. And the reason for that is pretty simple. It's just not really my style. You know, I figured that my gigantic diesel truck, which has a five inch straight pipe exhaust, is already obnoxious and loud enough. Um, you know, I didn't need something extra that kind of screams like, I have a diesel. You know, I think this is, this is plenty enough as it is. Um, so that's just not my thing. I just didn't really ever want to roll coal. It's not something that I really liked. Um, again, really, it's just the obnoxious factor. And also, just for me, forget about you know what other people think. It's just not something that I really ever wanted to do or felt the need to do. So I wouldn't get my truck tuned for that. The way people accomplish this is there's a couple of different ways. You can have your truck just running on that tune all the time. Or you can actually get a little switch, kind of like a DSP-5 uh, switch that you would get with a lot of little handheld tuners. And basically what you can do at a stoplight is, you know, if you're sitting there stop for a while, I, I guess you could do this with the truck running, switch tunes, but um, I don't, I'm pretty sure that's not a good idea. You definitely want to be stopped when you switch uh, the tune on your truck. But what you could do is if you're at a red light or something, you're on your normal tune, like I am now in this truck, and then you just flip your little switch or whatever, and then now you're on your, your rolling coal tune. And what you can do is then smoke out the Prius next to you and move on about your day, switch back to your regular tune and whatever. So I've seen some people do that where they have a little actually like rolling coal switch installed. Um, so that would be one option. And I guess most people probably don't run their truck on the coal tune all the time or what it's often called a smoke tune. Um, but you know, I, I don't really know. It's, it's not my thing. Again, it's not something that I wanted to do. So I didn't really look into it that much. The only time I will admit this, that the only time I would roll coal is that if someone was tailgating me really bad and maybe I come up to a stop sign like we're at right now or whatever I'd flip my little switch and then I'd just smoke them out that I would like to do because they deserve it but uh, other than that uh, not really my thing and it seems like a lot of trouble to go through um, just for those you know maybe once every month or two situations the other thing like I was just saying it's kind of a lot of trouble because a lot of places won't even tune your truck for that for instance where I got my uh, truck tuned by Idaho Rob uh, out at uh, ATP trucks they don't even do that. They don't do smoke tunes. They don't do lope tunes either, which is kind of a different thing. Um, but they don't do that. And I, I, I'm not sure, you know, I'm more familiar with the Duramax tuners because that's what I drive is a Duramax. And I know that Corey Willis is another huge Duramax tuner, very famous in the community. And uh, I don't believe he offers those tunes either. So it's also might be a little bit troublesome to find a tuner that's going to do that. And if you, you know, you go to the big reputable guys, like, you know, basically Idaho Rob and Corey Willis are the two biggest Duramax tuners there are. Um, and if they don't do it, so, you know, if you have to go somewhere else, you don't know, maybe they're not the best tuner out there or something like that. So, um, you know, for me, I think it's just a lot less trouble to go with the proper tune. And, that, and that's basically it. That's really the thing is that if your truck's rolling coal, that's not the best tune for your truck. That's not the optimal tune. Um, so, you know, you might be wasting power or whatever. The best possible scenario for your truck is to not be rolling coal. And, you know, on full acceleration, full boost and whatever, you might get a little bit of smoke, like a tiny bit, and that's just normal. It happens. But um, basically, if, if your truck is tuned properly, you're not going to be seeing hardly any smoke whatsoever coming out of the exhaust. So uh, that's just it. That's why I don't roll coal. That's why my Duramax, as it is, does not roll coal. Um, that's pretty much just my thoughts on it. Again, you know, if that's something you like to do, uh, you know, I'm not going to tell someone else how to live their life, but it's just not for me. And especially because I'm not out in the middle of nowhere either. You know, I live in neighborhoods and stuff, so it's just not really something that I would want to do. But anyway, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe and take care. Have a fantastic day.